What's up, guys? We're Sons Williams. Meet Day. Let's go, and your boys ready. This meet is for you. We got something to do. We got to do something bigger than this. Let's go. Fuck it. Fuck it. Slide it. Slide it. Slide it. Slide it. What's up, guys? I'm Solis Williams, a.k.a. The Swole Faster in Education on Health and Social Well Being, except for today. We're not doing much educating, it's time to work. We're here in Las Vegas, it is Wednesday, June 8th, meet day, final episode of For Myself, and we are about, let's see, I wanna say 15 minutes out from weighing in. I already know my weight's good. I was 165 today on both scales that we had back in the Airbnb. Like I said, the goal was to try to weigh in as close to 165 as possible and not be too far under. Um, you know, obviously since I weighed myself this morning, I might have lost a little bit more weight since then, so I might weigh in right at 164, but that's cool. I feel much, much better than what I did last meet. Um, in terms of like just, I don't feel super depleted. Energy feels good. Went with more of a gut cut with some slight water manipulation instead of a full water cut. Shout out to Steve Novi, PR Performance, appreciate you, man. Um, and honestly, guys, I'm going to be real. I don't have a whole lot to say. Uh, my client, Bella, she went three for three in the bench only this morning, starting off team craftsmanship very, very well. I'll be the first one lifting and starting off the team in terms of like the full powerlifting meet. So it's time to leave from the front. Let's get this work. All right, guys. So just weighed in at 74.48 kilograms. It's 164 pounds. Much better than last meet where I was like 163, barely, almost 162. Just got some trial in this Gatorade. We're about to try to refuel, and the goal is to get as close back up to 170 as possible. Even about like 168, that's comfortable. So get this water down, get the Gatorade down, get in what foods that I'm able to without making myself throw up. And then, um, honestly, I'm not gonna talk to you guys again until probably after squats.
Hands on the bar. Roberts in the Masters 2 division. All right, good lift on three. Louis Vega is our lifter on three, 336 pounds. He's up next on two. for Williams, the lift is. Oh, good job, Spot. Good. Third and final attempts. Bars loaded on three. Next, 413 pounds on the bar for the 75 kilo athlete. Come on, Marcellus, let's go, Marcellus. Uh, give him a round of applause. All right, guys, so this is my third on bench. The 347 for my second felt and moved better than what 341 did in training when I jumped from 341 to uh, 2374 uh, in training. The only thing that happened was I let it land a little bit too high on my chest, and I felt it too me. Like I was coming down, and instead of keeping that consistent bar path, I felt it touch high, and driving through that position is very, very hard when I misgroove it like that. So just didn't quite have it, um, which is fine, man. Like, honestly, you know, we'll see how deadlifts go. 700 kg might be a little bit out of reach today, but ideally, I will hopefully still be able to PR the total at this lower body weight. If I can do that, then I'm good. Let's go. Lift is good for Dwayne, the American record holder. on the bar for Mouton. Ah, yeah, Jackson. Williams. Strong lockout, good lift. Three white lights for Williams. Here comes Johnston, platform one. No lift, no lift. Good try, Anthony. Gerald Green Jr. is coming up on four. is ready for Green Jr. 562 pounds. Ah, oh, yeah, Green. The lift is good. Jason Jackson is our final lifter on time. kg body weight by going for 285 or I can push that 287 and a half hit 690 which is way over the 672 and a half that I hit at this weight class last meet and a two and a half kg overall meet PR and honestly only 10 kg off of 700 and I'm pretty sure we'll have it on screen but I'm pretty sure I still hit a 500 dots which that was like the big thing was coming in and be like if I hit a 500 dots regardless of life circumstances as being you know a father the coach and everything then it proves that I am, I am he, him, man. I am that lifter. And that's all I wanted, man. I want to come in here and just leave it all out there. That was a huge grind for me. And I'm just hyped, man. I'm hyped. I'll close the video out later. I'm just, let's go, man. All right, guys. So you have heard me talk about him several times since we started back in like the end of 2019. But this is my coach. Brad Couillard, the man, and man, I just have to say, in front of everybody here, from all of thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, not just for today, but literally, like, man, like, you have gotten me to a point that I legit at one point thought I would never even get to. Like, we, I mean, we collaborated so much, and like, even today, making the calls, like, you know, we were talking to each other, each other and trying yeah. to figure out which which number is it going to land on, and yeah. you know, we took yeah. the strategy of the big jumps, yeah. and we were able to nail it down, and yeah. that bench was 
Yeah, right there. Like, honestly, like like I said, I'm not even mad about the bench because I know I missed that off of just touching too high. Like the strength was there, it felt great. Yeah. But honestly, like beyond the fact that you know the man's a genius with like, you know the programming, <laughs> how the way he's helped me learn like better technique for my morphology, like the first person to ever be able to do that, which has also helped me be a better coach and doing that for others. But above all, man, like this man believes in me. Like I told him, I, I know 700 kgs out of reach after that bench, but I'm like. Maybe 27 and a half. Originally, we're only gonna go for like 25. I'm like, I get 27 and a half. I still PR my best sort from 83. And after my second man, like just the way Brad was looking at me, he was like, 27 and a half. Like nobody told me that. I'm like, I have to get this. I'm like, because I know he wouldn't tell me to go for it if it wasn't there. And then I finally got I someone showed me the video of you getting hyped for me, like in the back of it. And man, that just honestly got me emotional. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Yeah. And you just wanted, you know, want to finally get you on the channel. So. Absolutely, man. Yeah, no, it was a great, I mean, great day. The squat, you know, you know obviously the bench is tough, but the squat and the deadlift coming in and yeah. hammering that total, man, it's perfect. Absolutely, man. I look forward to building more. Absolutely, man. Of course. All right, guys. So it is uh, almost 11 in the evening. Because right after I was done competing, I had to go handle homie Charles. And that was crazy, man. Like, straight up, the battles today in prime time for 75s and 6, and a half were just insane. We ain't going to get into that because this, this video... It's about me, and I'm a little bit too tired to be getting into all that anyway. But I have to come correct because I told you guys I was hyped because of the 690 kg total, two and a half over my best 83 kg total at 75 kg, and all that kind of stuff. But as it turns out, that pool was actually 285, not 287 and a half. We put in 287 and a half originally. Brad ended up coming over to me. And he, he was basically asking me like, hey, so do you want to keep the 287 and a half or go to 285? And because I had my headphones, it was kind of just vibing and zoned in. I was like, yeah, let's go for it. And he took that as the 285, not 287 and a half. I'm not even mad at it because obviously that was the right call. Like based off that pull, I don't know if I had another two and a half keys. That could have been like the make or break. And ultimately I'm still very happy with it because matching my best 83 kg total um, when I was like walking around like the mid 170s at 164 pounds of body weight is fantastic. And the, the end results, and we'll have this pop up on screen, but basically uh, 100 IPF good lip points, 497 dots, and 494 wilks. So, so close. So, literally, had I simply done like, you know, 365 pounds on bench or 369, either or, that would have, oh my bad, 363 or 369 kilo conversions. That would have given me like a 690 plus total and give me like, you know, the 500 dots, the 500 wilks, all that good stuff. Um, and the fact is, I know I was capable of that today. Like I went for the 170, like I said, didn't miss it on strength, touched around the chest, was technical. Still an excusable point is like, I can confidently say that like, I know what I'm capable of. And honestly, like the hype with that third pool, going eight for nine in nationals, and just all the love and support, man. Like looking out and seeing, you know, friends, clients, family, people who like, you know, were followers, subscribers who literally like were there watching. Some of these people compete later this week, but they're there watching to support me. And I'm not even like, I was in the prime time. That was, that was so humbling and the injury was so awesome. And like everything I said about Brad, none of that changes. Like, like it, it was, he felt so bad because like, like when we're done talking, he, yeah, he told me, like, he's like, oh, dude, actually, that was 285, not 287 and a half. He thought I was going to, like, you know, burst my bone, but it really didn't because it was, it was the right call. And I'm still so glad that I had it in my corner. This was the first time where I was at a meet where I didn't have to think about anything. I could just vibe, execute. So it was awesome. And this, this prep, this day was awesome. Everything I said earlier still holds true for me. And I'm excited to be done with this weight class and get ready to build a two and a half, you know what I'm saying, and see what we can do there. Because I know 700 kg plus is going to be mindless as i you know don't worry about cutting stuff like that but no i appreciate you all for sticking with me through the, you know this little prep series as always appreciate you guys for supporting me in general and everything that i do with the youtube channel the coaching instagram everything like that appreciate the boy mark harris you know what i'm saying it's always a pleasure to be able to like bring him down to capture these amazing moments i uh, appreciate my coach brad and just just if I name everybody, we will, this will be another 20 minutes on this video. And I have, Mark's tired, now I'm tired. <laughs> but no, I appreciate you guys so, so much for, for everything. And I'm excited to just keep it going. You know, continue, you know, give you guys some supportive content, show you my training, and just keep building up craftsmanship, man. Keep crafting. The, the craft never ceases. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what can be better. Like the video, share. Subscribe, keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch you guys later.
Yeah. All right, it's time to edit, edit that bit. God, that dang old video. Put all the numbers in and whatnot up. All right, man. Golly, Woo. boys, getting put to work. Yeah. If I can hook up this this cord, it's entangled. But yeah, man. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. I was just telling them. Thank. I uh, was thanking them for tuning in. Oh. While trying to get my life together and hook up my charger. All right, y'all. Peace.